Welcome back, everybody. We have some more really fun, different ideas, recipes that will save you money. Marty is back. She is a mom and a personal chef. If you contact her, she'd be happy to cook for your family. And, uh, you know, and being a mom, I think that that's what we do. We try and save money and, um, you know, try and feed our family, right? They, exactly. And something that they like. Yeah. Something they'll eat. This happens to be... Um, my kid's favorite. I actually have to make extra because I, now that I've got the 19-year-old, you know how those boys eat. I don't know, they're going through that growth spurt again or something, so they, he'll eat all of these if I let him. So this is a cool thing where you can, you want to maybe make extra because we're going to turn it into two different recipes again. So we're going to cook once and make a couple different meals out of it. So first we've got some boneless, skinless chicken yep. breasts. So you just pick those up from your, your market. Okay. I, um, I always make sure that I got all the fat and stuff. Kind of trim them up a little bit. If you yeah, you know, I'm kind of picky that way. I am too. I don't like and that. And then we want to wash our hands. Okay. And we're marinating in a Ziploc bag. Marty, is this something that you could do you, you know, like morning of or yes. the day before? Yes. Okay. The more, absolutely. Do okay. it the morning of okay. or, or even the night before okay. for dinner. It doesn't matter how long. And you're going to take about a half of, um, about a half a cup of Italian dressing. Okay, and in this case, we're just using bottled Italian dressing. We are. I'm not yeah. a big fan of it on my salads, but it's, it makes a great marinade. It does make good marinade. My mom's marinating them with that since I was a little girl, and I still do it to this day. And you're going to do the same with this. So this is grated Parmesan. Now that's I never thought of adding that to my marinade. Yeah, because it um, it forms like a sauce. Okay. So then you just squeeze them together. And you, the least you have to marinate this is approximately uh, 15 minutes. Okay. But like I said, and you said, we overnight is really nice because okay. I can do it the night before, and um, and I know the kids won't get into it because it's not cooked yet. <laughs> good idea. Good yeah. idea. So uh, about a half a cup of Parmesan. Yep, about a half a cup. The kids really like a lot of it on yep. there. Yep. So that's all you do. Just kind of massage it and get it in there. Yep. And then I use a. Um, I use the non-stick rental trap. That stuff is great. It, yeah, it saves a lot of cleanup. It's uh, it's kind of new on the market. Um, the other thing we do is we just foil line our pans and then spray them with cooking spray. So either yeah. one will work. So then you're just going to pull them out and lay them down. So you've already and got that Parmesan on them. Right. And this is going to cook for um, at 425 for about 25 minutes. Okay. Just bake it. So That's all at you're a doing. little bit higher heat than you'd normally bake. Yes, you would, because you want to get a little brown, and you want to make sure that you cook it all the way through. Right. And then I always, with my hand that has not touched chicken, I always sprinkle a little Parmesan to get a little crust on the top. So this is some uh, more of a, a nicer Parmesan, like a shredded Parmesan. Right. Okay. And I like shredding my Parmesan. I'm kind of, kind of picky like yep. that, but. Get the so, good stuff. Yep. All right, we'll let you wash your hands. So this goes into the oven. Yep. 425 for about 30 minutes or so, depending on how many chicken breasts you're doing and how hot your oven is and all that kind of stuff. So we have some in the oven right here. Oh, it smells good. It looks and I gorgeous. Use, I use fettuccine noodles for this. Okay. So um, so this is the first night. So first night's meal, we've got a whole bunch of mm -hmm. fettuccine noodles we boiled up. This is just, you can make your own Alfredo sauce or pick it up at the store. It's really easy to make at home, though, with a little bit of heavy cream and Parmesan cheese yep. and garlic. Actually, and normally I make my own Alfredo. So then you're just going to put this on top of here. And this is why I probably use that, huh? The foil line. Okay, so there's recipe number one. All right. Yep. Now, now we're going to make a chicken Caesar salad. A little bit oh, a little bit of... Garnish on that? Yeah, we're gonna throw a little. Let's make it look, let's pretty, make it pretty. look pretty. So yep. you wouldn't even need full chicken breast for this. You could just even kind of slice it up, and you know, with the pasta, it's a great yep. way to stretch your dollar. Yep. Okay, so we've got a couple extra leftover chicken breasts that we're gonna turn into a whole other recipe. Right, and we're gonna make Caesar salad out of them because okay. again, they were in Italian dressing mm -hmm. and um, Parmesan, so two of the ingredients that go into a Caesar. Sure. Um, I buy my Caesar my uh, lettuce together uh -huh. because I like it better than buying that shredded. Totally agree. You just don't know what you're going to get in that It bag. tastes a little funky to me. It tastes like chemicals or something. I think uh, when you cut lettuce, it naturally will tend to brown right away. And if you notice in the bags, it, it doesn't really brown. So <laughs> I wonder why that is. So Hearts of Romaine is my go-to. I that buy them is, in a three yep. pack and then just you know wash them and, and do it myself. 
and that's what I did. Okay. So they're all washed. Okay. And just for anybody that doesn't understand that um, or know how to do that, you just cut off the bottoms. Mm -hmm. You just cut off the big heart, mm -hmm. and then you're going to just peel these off one by one and wash them. So we already did that with okay. some of these, okay. and then we're just going to take them and shred them. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably need that cutting board to cut the chicken off. No problem. <laughs> um, the other thing sometimes I'll do is uh, if you really want an elegant presentation, you can leave the leaves kind of whole on a plate. You know, I think um, that's kind of fun to do too. Yeah, line your plate. Uh -huh, the other uh -huh. thing that I do with these Caesar salads is I make a bread bowl. Oh. And all you do is you take crescent rolls and you put it over um, some kind of a bowl that is oven tempered. Sure. And just spread it out and cook it. It takes about 10 minutes. And then you've got a bowl, and it soaks in all your dressings. And Fun! It is Ooh, we'll have to do so that another good. time. Do you just want these cubed or stripped, or how would you any, like these? Any way you want to do them. Okay. Caesar salad just happens to be one of my absolute favorite salads. You know, salads. actually, my daughter, Ireland, can't get enough of it either. And this is the time of year where salads, a nice big salad, and as long as it's got some chicken in it, uh, even Bob will eat it for dinner. It's a really nice, hearty, hearty meal. It is, and don't forget, you can throw celery in there. You can throw carrots. I hate it when you do it, but uh, you can. Yes. Caesar yep. salad's really not. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of picky about that, although I really love tomatoes, and so. Sometimes you put some tomato in there. Yeah, I okay. do. All right. I cheat. Okay. So then you're going to just, we're going to take the chicken. Uh-huh. A couple of pieces and throw it in there? Yep. Okay. Great way to use up leftover chicken. It is. Um, you always have to have croutons. Yep. I can't think of anything that you never have to have croutons for. <laughs> These are great for snacking. A little more fresh Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit. And then what I use, um, if I'm not making my own Caesar salad, then I try and buy a fairly nice mm -hmm. Caesar salad mm -hmm. um, dressing. A little fresh pepper, how about that? Yep, I was looking for that would pepper. be great. Okay. And then Hiding there. Make. Sometimes uh, if I do, you're in a pinch and you are using a bottle dressing, just to add a little more lemon juice to it too. Sometimes yeah. it'll make it taste a little more homemade, a little pepper. And there you go. Marty, this is fun. I it's, love both these recipes. They are great, easy to do recipes. <laughs> Bless you, man. <laughs> That didn't Marty, thanks for coming and sharing. Really oh, appreciate it. You are very welcome. Put Yum. a little more on the top, and you are all finished with that. Can't wait to make both of these. All right, we'll be back. Stay with us.